Perhaps someday I'll see this light of rainbows in my soul. Perhaps the doors of heaven will reveal the truth in what he told. But even though I want it to, even though I tried, when he asked me if I understood, Looking back, I wonder how we became so close. Little did I know that day the doors would open to my soul. But even as his time was up, even as he died, I asked myself if I understood. And I lied. I lied because of the silence I feel. I lied as I tried to conceive my doubts about his insanity. I lied because I couldn't see what harm would. J.B. was my friend. I wanted to believe that he was right, that the Holy Spirit had inspired his work, had touched his family and friends, had changed me. But I could not. In the pastor's eulogy for J.B. Murray, he said this master visionary left no unfinished business. And Sarah spoke confidently and eloquently, saying, There's a shadow that awaited you somewhere around the bend. There, sweet whispers and gentle peace welcome you in. I am sure that he is somewhere, and that he is at peace. I love because of the sun. I lied as I tried to conceal my doubts about his insanity. I lied because I couldn't see what harm there would be. If I lied. In the years since his death, I have come to believe that the language of the Holy Spirit did take J.B. Murray in his artistic form places his bodily form could never go. First into the hands of his neighbors, then into the minds of those of us who felt compelled to seek his work out. Those of us who were privileged to know J.B. Murray and spend some time with him will never forget him. We are changed by him. He keeps us growing, growing in spirit, on our mission to affirm and strengthen the human heart. Maybe those are the hands of the Holy Spirit working in me, helping me grow to understand.